What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, February 7th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a seven game NBA slate tonight. And we've been kind of hit or miss recently. We started out with a bang with a big hot streak last week. Been a little hit or miss, but I'm going to zone in here for you guys tonight. So let's take a look at it. At the point guard position, I like Terry Rozier from the Miami Heat playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have the third worst defense overall give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Terry Rozier averaging 38.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. So he's projected at 37 fantasy points here tonight. And that's 6.2 times value. Only 6,000 DraftKings salary. He is 1,000 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. And Terry Rozier has scored 39, 36, and 33 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 37, and 30 minutes. So he is on a back-to-back, -back, but he only played 31 minutes last night. And I checked his uh, history. He's put up some pretty big back-to-back -back numbers so far this season. So not affected by the back-to-back. -back. So, uh, and also Terry Rozier, he scored 38, 29, 43, and 51 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Spurs. So I like Terry Rozier here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So, at the shooting guard position, oh no, I gave you Terry Rozier at the point guard. I think I had a different point guard for you. No, it looks like I'm just missing a player. So, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and just pick a shooting guard here live on TV. Okay, so uh, what I like to do here is I love to just look at the matchup, look it for the green. Derek White, he always seems to kind of have good matchups and everything, but uh, I'm going to steer away from him just a little bit. I mean, the numbers are kind of adding up for Derek White. And same, Karis, uh, Karis Levert, he's another he's another guy that whenever I pick him, he seems to kind of stink. He put up 38 fantasy points yesterday, but only played 23 minutes. So, yeah, let's take a look at this. So, I like a guy like Malik Monk from the Sacramento Kings playing the Detroit Pistons, who have the fourth worst defense overall, middle of the pack defending uh, opposing shooting guards. Now, Malik Monk averaging 28.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. So Malik Monk projected at 28.9 fantasy points here tonight. And that's 5.3 times value, only 5,400 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 242.5 points scored in this game. So you got a high scoring game, relatively good matchup here. The Malik Monk has scored 25, 41, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 23, 33, and 27 minutes. So, having only played 23 minutes last game, I do expect him to get at least 26 to 30 minutes here tonight in a high-scoring game. Malik Monk certainly could go off here. And uh, he scored 42 fantasy points in his last game versus the Pistons. So, I like Malik Monk here versus the Detroit Pistons. 
Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So I like Brendan Miller from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Toronto Raptors, who have the eighth worst defense overall. They give up the third most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Now, Brandon Miller, he's averaging 27.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate, but he has been red hot as of late, scoring 52, 52, and 51 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 37, and 31 minutes. Uh, he is 7,200 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 225.5 points scored in this game. So uh, he certainly is due to cool down here. Uh, let's just take a look at his last uh, like six or seven games. So you can see out of his last six games here, I mean, he's putting up big numbers. He's putting up real big numbers. I think his season average is just being pulled down a little bit by uh, some of the earlier performances that were under par and a, a few performances where he didn't play too many minutes. But he's playing a lot of minutes here now, and he is super productive as of late. So I'm going to go ahead and ride this Brandon Miller train. So I like Brandon Miller here versus the Toronto Raptors. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. Okay, so I got a sleeper pick here for you. Uh, he came back, he played some minutes last game, put up 22 fantasy points. This is a super sleeper pick, but I like Chris Bosher from the Toronto Raptors playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the fifth worst defense overall, give up the third most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Now, Chris Bosher, he's averaging 13.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 14 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He's only 3,000 DraftKings salary. He put up 22 fantasy points last game in 12 minutes. And um, he's got a fantastic matchup here. And he also has played pretty well versus the Hornets, scored 13, 14, and 25 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Hornets. So um, if you're looking for a guy who could possibly play 20 minutes here at very low ownership and easily put up 20 plus fantasy points, you see he put up 22 fantasy points in 12 minutes. In fact, he's averaging one fantasy point per minute. So uh, if you're looking for a super sleeper pick here on DraftKings near minimum salary, I like Chris Boucher here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Now, if you're not a D-Gen looking for super sleeper picks like that, uh, you might want to just pay $800 more here for a guy like Caleb Martin. Uh, even Trey Lyles here, actually, now looking at this. Trey Lyles looks like he's in a much better spot here for 3,200 DraftKings salary, only 200 more than Chris Boucher. And uh, he scored 16, 32, and 18 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 18, 23, and 15 minutes. But either way, guys, you're dumpster diving here with these low salary picks. But I do think they're in good spots with good matchups. I like this block of guys here, Caleb Martin, Trey Lyles, and Chris Boucher at the power forward position. If you're looking to save some salary and roll the dice, Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. 
Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the center position. So you won't be rolling the dice with this guy. I think he's gonna consistently just put up some big numbers. I like Kristaps Porzingis from the Boston Celtics playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have the second worst defense overall, give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing centers. Kristaps Porzingis averaging 36.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game. With a 24% usage rate, he's projected at 36 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 7,500 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. Now Vegas thinks there's going to be 243.5 points scored in this game. So they have us at a high scoring game. Fantastic matchup. And Chris Stops Porzingis has scored 46, 41, and 38 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 27, 29, and 31 minutes. So I think Chris Stops Porzingis, I think he's a little underpriced at 7,500 here. Um, now, if you're just looking at his season average, that's right on, but I think he's going to start averaging 40 plus fantasy points here. Let's see how it goes. He's certainly been performing well as of the past few games. And I love this matchup. And Kristaps Porzingis scored 40 and 60 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Hawks. So I like Kristaps Porzingis here versus the Atlanta Hawks. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.